Hey, what's up, guys? How is everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great day. As always, thank you guys for joining. My name is Nestor Sanchez or at Crypto Dilo. This is my boy. What is going on, guys? Thank you guys for tapping into today's podcast. My name is Ryan the Crypto Guy or Ryan Prendez. And we are the Master Nodes. As always, try your best to stay to the end. We're going to give you guys some additional resources where you can get more zoned into cryptocurrency. And today on the show, we have a very special guest with us. Please welcome my boy, Johnny Lopez. Thank you, Johnny, for tapping in. Appreciate you. And thank you for giving me the time. Hopefully I can drop some knowledge bombs. Yeah, yeah. Drop, drop some gems this podcast for sure. So, Johnny, before we dive into today's interview, we want our audience to get to know you a little bit more. So tell us a bit about yourself and your background. All right. Yeah, my name is Jonathan Lopez, but I go by Johnny. Uh, I just turned 20 in March. Uh, I've been a trader for almost going on to almost two and a half years. I started right after I graduated high school in summer 2020. I kind of already was in it before I got into high school. I was just barely learning about investments. And I thought after the stock market crash in 2020, there was no better time to get in and learn about it. And uh, I eventually found out what was causing the markets to go up after the 2020 crash. And um, that's when I decided, oh, no, thing, some good things are not going to come, such as like another crash in a recession. So I decided, I decided to study recessions and crashes from previous uh, uh, timelines so I can, you know, look out for signs and be prepared for this coming recession, this coming crash. But um, other than learning about recessions, I was also learning about stocks. Obviously, you learn about stocks when you're barely getting into this. And uh, yeah, around August, a few months after <clears throat> getting into it, around August 2020, bought my first stock. It was Pfizer. And uh, I mean, after that first time I bought my stock, my first stock, I was able to buy more and I was making some decent money until the market decided to humble me. <laughs> and uh, I realized I had a lot more to learn. So thankfully, through some bravery, I was able to DM. I didn't even figure, no, at that time was a pretty top dog on Wall Street. Uh, one of the most recognized and photographed men on Wall Street. His name is Peter Tuckman, but he's known better as the Einstein of Wall Street. If you've seen any financial news, any sort of uh, cover pictures for financial news, you're going to most likely see a picture of him because he gets his name because he looks like Einstein. And him and his buddy that used to work on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, David Green. Funny enough, um, uh, my my biggest mentors of trading, Peter and David, were also the names of my grandpa and father, so, who were some of the biggest supporters up till it was only my grandpa who became the biggest supporter. Um, their names are also Peter and David, so I find that funny. But um, yeah, Einstein's buddy, David Green and Einstein started a course, a little program called the Wall Street Global Trading Academy. And they basically, we learned David Green's methods with the help of Einstein, the advice of Einstein. And I basically, that program, that's how I learned to trade. In terms of economics and the other types of philosophy that I used to apply to my trading, most of it was mainly self-taught. So yeah, I met Einstein and David in the beginning of 2021. I got with that program. Wall Street Global Trading Academy, met a few other people, but it didn't really go anywhere. I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of rough trying to meet people who are actually serious and dedicated about starting to try a little fun. But anyways, um, there, I, that's where I learned my trading. I became quite a decent trader. It's just that right now times are tough. So I'm doing trading as a side hustle while also doing a job at the same time because there's no better time to be getting stacking some extra money for the coming crash and recession yeah yeah definitely that's and that's crazy that you met that guy i always see him on uh on tiktok like people asking him or coming up to him randomly asking him questions like oh you know like what do you think about this or what do you think about that and i know exactly who you're talking about so that's why i was like yo like it clicked in my head i was like Einstein oh so that's pretty interesting to hear and that's cool that you were able to you you know utilize him and his expertise to kind of advance you know your knowledge in the space um so when it comes to everything that you've done so far oh I'm sorry go ahead Nestor yeah so I did actually want to talk about like it's crazy how we I feel like a lot of us, like younger people, I would say specifically in this generation, had like a similar 
type of upbringing when it comes to stocks. We got in when, like, at a great time, right? Obviously, COVID happened. Um, Beginner's luck. Everything, everything was down. Beginner's luck, right? Immediately, a year after, we're like, hey, we're all making money. Let's let's do this. We got to do this some more. I'm trying to stack more. And then, boom, immediately humbled, right? And we're like, okay, yeah. maybe I don't know everything about this. Maybe I still am missing some, you know, gaps in knowledge. And then I went to go look for a mentor, and I feel like, um, we're just trying to build a platform to help other people too, because we know that we needed help. So obviously, why wouldn't other people? And it's pretty cool, like having that similar experience with other people, and we can really talk about it. You know, mm-hmm. that the maker where the market humbles you. That's where it makes or break, and that's why I feel when people tell you ninety nine percent of traders don't succeed. I think that's the part where a trader decides whether they want to keep going and learning what they need to learn or they just realize they think it's a scam and then because the market will humble you facts yeah it really will it really will uh so johnny i think the next thing that we want to know is you know your experience trading like what has trading been like for you along your journey you know a, a lot of the times from our people that are our mentors they say trading is when, when when it comes to trading you know it's all about controlling their emotions and their journey so far has been the process of controlling their emotions so what has your experience been with trading in terms of like your maybe pitfalls or even your upcomings with trading if someone who's really wants to be serious and is dedicated to this, you're going to find out real fast that trading is a real discipline. You have to get up in the morning before over here, the stock market opens at 630. So you have to like get up at least an hour before to get up in the morning, read the news that basically telling you the same things that Einstein told me. It's a discipline. You have, it's a rigid structure that you have to follow. It really teaches you how to be, how do I say this? Um, since I already said the word disciplined, you really, it's, it's kind of like going to school. You have a certain schedule. You have to know how, what you have to do at a certain time. You have to know, you have to get in out of stock at a certain time and know when to get out. You have to, basically my experience with trading is basically, how do I word this better? Um, you really cannot have no distractions. You really got to stay focused on this because this is something it's a business especially if you're managing your own money you're basically managing your own business it's your own enterprise so think of it as that you got to take it seriously or like i said the market will humble you so it's not just oh i'm gonna learn this and i'm gonna make money no it will teach you to be really disciplined that's what i've gotten from it so far discipline is a huge part of basically trading in general investing in general it's like really just zoning in onto all these different things and really like i would say like putting your your focus it doesn't have to be like okay 24 hours out of the day or six hours of the day but for those three hours or that two hours you have to have to be locked in like you're saying no distractions your phone do not disturb just looking understanding the markets and basically you know, really putting yourself in that and in that perspective, because at the end of the day, this is a job. This is a skill, just like engineers would put in certain times. Architects would put in certain times. You know, you're going to have to learn this skill and really put in that time, put in that effort. Exactly. Not everyone's willing to do it. So there's so many different things that you could like trade, you know, you can invest in. You got gold, cryptocurrencies. Um, what made you choose kind of stocks? What made you choose like stocks trading options as well? What what kind of went into that decision? Well, first with stocks, um, I mean, stocks weren't that expensive towards the middle of 2020. So that was after the crash. So I was like, all right, that's, like I said, great time to learn about investing and to get in and to get into it. But then I realized, oh, man, you're probably going to need a lot more money for stocks. So that's when I found out about options, but then that's when I realized options are, aren't something to mess around with. You really got to know what you're doing with options or you'll blow your account like that. Um, 
So, but well, the reason why I got into those two was because uh, basically just trading in general found a way to combine all my interests. I'm into history. I like to keep up to date with what's going on in politics. And uh, with when, if you're especially if you're a dedicated trader and you need to know why a stock or why the market did move a certain way, and you need a, and you need like a news article to let you know what cost a stock or a market indice to move a certain way it's perfect so it manages to combine my combinations of being informed on politics and history and i was good at i i really hate math as much as i'm good at it but trading doesn't really involve much complicated math so it was perfect combining all my interests together it was just perfect it's just the more i learned about trading and investing the more i just wanted to keep learning more and keep going down the rabbit hole it was i never found some this even with all my other hobbies it's never happened where the more i just kept learning the more i just wanted to keep learning so your interest in it really is what drove you to want to exceed in learning more mhm mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, it's very hard to find a hobby <laughs> that doesn't make you money or doesn't make you the money the way the stock market does um, and and have that much interest in it. Luckily for me and Nestor, cryptocurrency was our kind of stocks. Like for you, stocks for us, it was crypto. Crypto is really what drove us into this financial space. And so going off of that you know you're you're talking about options and stocks a lot have you tried trading the crypto market i've had a few times i mean i mainly use crypto as an indicator for the stock market you can you can actually google this it's uh you'll get some articles from investopedia or you'll get it from an, like an investor named mark morbius where bitcoin is the indicator like a sentiment indicator for the stock market mm. um so i mean i have traded crypto a few, few here and there i i view it positively i just use like the bond market like commodities like currencies mm. i just use crypto as another tool to help uh help with my trading oh nice nice and so uh, besides trading it, do you also invest into cryptocurrencies? As of now, no, <laughs> this no. is not the time. No. Yeah, definitely. It's been pretty rough <laughs> with cryptocurrencies as a, as a cryptocurrency investor, as a trader, you can make money whether the market's going up or down, but as an investor, it's, uh, it's, um, it's tough. It's tough out here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, 20, uh, 20, 20, 2022 is uh, it's not an investor's environment. This is no. a trader dream. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there's a lot of volatility right now, and with that volatility comes, you know, a lot of great opportunities, yes, great setups. Yes. Exactly, exactly. Um, I would right. even say that right now could even be optimal for an investor. Especially if it you're could, like, it could be just, optimal for, yeah, I'll go for it. Just getting in there, you know, you're able to get in at a great price rather than 60,000, 69,000, you know, 20,000. If it goes even back to 60,000, well, you've tripled your money. And I'm not making any promises, but I'm going to almost promise that Bitcoin is getting past 69,000 at one point, you know, so you do what you want with that information. Obviously, I think there could be better entrances, but there's people out there that really don't really look Care at about, that market yeah, yeah. as much. So they're like, you know, might as well dollar cost average around here. If you wanted a dollar cost average, hey, this is beautiful for you. Yeah, I think <laughs> a, lo a lot of traders that I know say, as long as you have one Bitcoin, you're good. But you just got to have one. That's it. You know, well, once you have that like, what, like 20 million in circulation. Yeah, 21 in total. But yeah, 20, 21 million should be mined by like 2040. And after that, there's no more Bitcoin. No, to be mined. It's not 2040. Uh, it's it? like 2104. Yeah, it's going to yeah, it's gonna take a while for them to, to halt mining on Bitcoin. Um, And, and another thing. Happenings. Yeah, a lot, a lot of happenings. And another thing is, is once Bitcoin is mined, like let's say all the Bitcoin are mined. This is something actually I was going to talk about in our next podcast. But once all the Bitcoins are mined, what's going to happen to the miners? Are they going to switch over to a proof of stake concept? Because like there's no more Bitcoin to be mined. So what would be in their incentive to keep 
the net to, to keep up the network. So it's just gonna be the the fees, the transaction fees that we pay. Um, that's gonna go to miners. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So and that's they where they can't do proof of stake because there would be no coins in circulation. So what are they? How are they gonna get more stake? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So do you think the Lightning Network would be utilized even more? I think at a certain point, the Lightning Network is going to be, like, everywhere. There's probably going to be a bunch of side chains just so that, um, you know, everybody likes cheaper and faster get, yeah, transactions. Yeah. So why wouldn't they, you know? Yeah, so that way the main network also just doesn't get congested. Doesn't congested. get hella clogged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, just the, the main stuff that needs to get put on there is going to be put on there. Mm -hmm. And then everything else is side chains, I think. Yeah, that would be crazy to see. Uh, but anyways, going back to it. <clears throat> So, Johnny, what is one tip you would have for investors and traders starting off into in this space? If you're getting more into the equities market, um, seriously, you cannot get become an investor. You cannot trade if you don't understand or know how the bond market works and is correlated to the stock market. Because the bond market could be, I'm not trying to sound like a boomer. Oh, I'm here. I want to sell you some bonds. <laughs> but um you got to understand how the bond market works. It's not a complicated thing to learn. There's very fairly easy ways you can learn. You can use to learn it pretty quick and you need to learn how the bonds are core, what their price action and how it correlates to the stock market. Because yeah, if basically if you're going into an investing or trading without knowing how the bond market, think of it like this, you have a bowl of cereal and all you have in the cere bowl of cereal is just milk. You put a fork in a bowl of cereal and you take the fork out, you're not going to get any milk. That's literally how an investor or trader is going into investments without knowing how the bond market works with it. So that's very fairly, interesting fairly, that you said that. Fairly, fairly easy ways to know the bond market. I mean, you see a 10-year going up, you know, mortgage rates will go up. If you see a two-year going up, you... Federal Reserve has to hike interest rates for as long as the two year keeps going up. It's fairly simple to learn. It's not that complicated. So you said like, okay, it's fairly simple to learn that there are resources. Do you um do you think you can drop some resources or you don't really know them off the top of your head? Um you can use and what I like to use a lot to check in how the bond market is doing is uh investing.com. You could also use trading view. You can use any app apps or websites like that that show you that display to you how the bond market is and you can also use it to compare to uh, how other other bonds are and other stocks are doing so like investing.com trading view so let's say i'm a new investor entering into the space that wants to learn about like where to start essentially like okay this is like a course or an academy or something that you could join where you know, it'll teach you exactly to do or, or what to do from A to Z. Like, for instance, me and Nestor, we're a part of a program. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, for instance, me and Nestor, we're a part of an academy called I Am Mastery Academy. There they teach us A to Z trading cryptocurrencies, not just cryptocurrencies. They also do stocks. But would you, is there anything that you recommend that we could tap into or or anyone could tap into to, like, get the answers that they're that they need i mean as far as uh other resources you're gonna have you're gonna need either a great teacher or yeah those those that's, that's the only thing i could really come up on the top of my head i mean this stuff is it's very it's not that hard to find all you, know, you need to do is just google it hmm. it's they all it's so many resources out there it's as I was going through these last two and half years of this investing and trading journey, it just boggles my mind. It just makes me think that are people even using the internet for the right things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. We have the whole world at our fingertips and um, some we people decide to be a hater on Instagram, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like really, <laughs> uh, out of everything you could have been doing right now. Pretty much. But we, we do appreciate your time, Johnny. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um, ultimately that was some great information that you dropped and I'm pretty sure our viewers are going to love it. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Thank you for your time. It was worth it. Yes.
And that kind of wraps up today's podcast. Thank you everyone for tapping in. Remember to follow and subscribe to our social media accounts on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter, all at The Master Knowns. Our visual podcast experience can be found on YouTube and our audio podcast experience can be found on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and all your other favorite podcast sources. Remember to visit www.themasternodes.com. Again, that's www.themasternodes.com and subscribe to our email list to receive the latest and greatest cryptocurrency information. And do you guys want to be on our team? So we teach people about cryptocurrency, stocks, e-commerce, how to be a digital entrepreneur, all wrapped into one amazing academy. It is called I Am Mastery Academy. If you are interested in being a part of our team, helping grow, our community, helping grow ourselves, then this is the place for you. Um, you can DM us, you can do a comment, and we will get back to you to give you that information if you are interested. Um, we also have a Discord for you guys to join. We're going to be dropping a lot more stuff in there. We're going to be having Zoom calls every almost every Sunday. We'll be giving you guys that information in the Discord, so that's why you guys need to be in that Discord. We're going to have a lot of guest speakers uh, we're going to teach you about trading, investing, stocks, cryptocurrencies, you know, social media. We're going to be talking about business. We're going to be getting into everything that you may need to know as a digital entrepreneur. So please tap in with us. We will always be sending you guys the links and we want everybody to have this information. Yeah. And, and for always... the people, sorry. Yes. And for the people that are tapping into our discord as another special exclusive treat for you guys, we're also going to be streaming every once in a while our podcast. So now our podcasts sometimes are recorded ahead of time. And because of that, you will get exclusive access to the inner workings of how our podcasts go. You know, you guys don't really see the behind the scenes or really the majority of the podcast because after we're, we're done recording, I go into Adobe Premiere Pro and chop everything up to give you guys a nice and clean format. However, if you guys want to see the inner workings of our podcast, how exactly we run our podcast and what we go through, like the process, then you guys could always tap into our Discord where we will stream live our podcast. So make sure you guys tap in. Yeah, and Johnny, did you want to say anything? Um, maybe drop your at so that people can follow you, get some great information from uh, your Instagram or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, my Instagram is 818jaw, as in this jaw, J-A-W underscore, and then knee, like your actual knee, uh, K-N-double-E. Cool. We do appreciate you, like we said. And as always, guys, have yourselves a great day and try your best to choose kindness. Yes, thank you everyone for tapping in. Much appreciated as always and bless up. Here at the Master Nodes, we are not making any claims as to income you may earn. Before entering any agreement, please use caution and seek the advice of a professional advisor, such as attorney or financial advisor. Please ensure your own research is done before investing any money into the market.